take a break from my Star Wars, Tarantino, and Rocky reviews the series on my channel. Let's start off with my horror film segment for my channel. Says, of course, Halloween is right around the corner. And I did not forget about my Halloween segment for my channel. So I'm going to start off with one of the best horror movie sequels. I mean, pff, best horror. I know what you're thinking. Best horror movie, horror movie sequels. I mean, I know sequels sucks when it comes to horror films. Yes, of course, like some crappy horror, horror sequels like See the Chucky, BHS Viral, Halloween 6, or Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. But now I'm not going to talk about that. We can talk about the horror, the worst horror movie sequels later in another video. But right now, I'm going to start off with the best horror movie sequels. Starting off with number 10. For number 10, we have VHS 2, a film I think is superior over the first film, even though I think the first film is more scarier. I just gotta say that this film, as far as making sense and plot, plot, this film is much, much better than the first film, even though it's not really as scary or suspenseful as the first film, but this is, this film is more, it makes a lot more sense than the first film, where the first film was kind of confusing. I'm not even getting to VHS Viral, that's going to be in my worst horror, horror sequels video, but VHS 2, I gotta say, it's a worthy sequel in the franchise. I heard it's going to make a fourth film, which I don't think is necessary in my opinion. Three, I had enough, I mean, but VHS 2... It's on Netflix, so you can give it a watch for Halloween. I mean, if you want to. I mean, you don't have to, so. Yeah. For number nine, we have Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason List. A film which, I, in my opinion, is better than any of the Friday the 13th films. And it is my the first Friday the 13th film I've ever seen when it came on TV a couple years ago. Like 2007, 2008, or whatever on AMC. But yeah, this is actually my favorite Friday the 13th film of all time. Where we have Zombie Jason. I believe, was King Hot this is actually the first film that King Hodder ever played Jason. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. I like how in the opening credits, opening title sequence, it parodies a Jason. Bond title sequence with James Bond shoots through the little hole in blood starts splatter and stabs Jason throwing a spear and blood starts splatter. That was kind of pretty clever. But yeah, Friday 13th Part 6 Jason Lift, great cheese fun. A great cheese fest for this film. Exactly what a Friday 13th is. Great, stupid fun. Number 8, it is Curse of Chucky. Finally got a franchise back on track because after the last two films were just like, no. This film knows what Chucky is. He is a straightforward killer. He kills anybody who gets in his way. Don't take crap from anybody. And that's what the last two films were missing. He was just a joke. He was a parody of himself. And he had a wife, a son slash daughter, who's apparently a transgender, who speaks British, speaks Japanese, pees on herself with no genitalia. I mean, what? Uh, see the Chucky. Oh my god, the movie's terrible. But Curse of Chucky is a love letter to the franchise. It's on Netflix, by the way, so you can watch it, check it out. It's way better than Brightest Seed. Bright, it's way better than Brightest Seed. Way, way better. Halloween H2O. It's a good sequel. It's a good follow up to Halloween 2. Not the other Halloween sequel like Halloween 4, 5, 6, or even Halloween 3. I mean, those films don't exist to me, especially Halloween Resurrection. Halloween 1, 2, and H2O are the other ones that, are, that exist in the continuity to me, in my opinion. We move on to the final five. That's for number five on my list, and it's Child's Play 2. The first Child's Play film I ever seen in the entire series. Then I saw the first film. Then three. Then C. Then Bride. Then, of course, later on, Curse of Chucky recently. But yeah, how, Child's Play 3 is the one I connect with the most because it's the first film I've seen in the entire franchise, like I said before. But actually, it has the best look of Chucky in any other Child's Play franchise, whether he looks regular like a doll or Scarlet, or anything. I, li I like how he looks. This is the definitive look of Chucky that I like. But I gotta say, the best kill in the entire series, which I said in my review last year, which Chucky killed the teacher with a ruler. I mean, <laughs> look, look at that. Search that video up online. You see what I'm talking about. Just, oh my God. Actually, it's in my, it's that footage is in my review, so just watch that clip. And number four, it is Nightman L33, Dream Warrior. So I gotta say, I gotta say, this is a definitive Nightman L33 film. In my opinion, I still love the first film. The first film was a classic. The first film always been my favorite. But as far as sequels goes, as far as like comedy element humor, this is a definitive one. I just like, it says in a mental institution where all these kids have a history with Freddy. And they all come together to stop him. And then Dreams. And I gotta say, this is my favorite performance by Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger. What he had, 
mix between the he, mix between the humorness of Freddy Krueger and mix between some of the seriousness of him. I think that's very cool. They did very great. This is the best performance of Robert Angela. Also, a young British Arquette, by the way. And the number one best horror movie sequel of all time. Aliens. Aliens is without a doubt the best horror movie sequel of all time, in my opinion only. I mean, this film doesn't even seem dated. I love the special effects, the visuals, everything about this film is great. The act, especially for Bill Paxton. Game over, man. Game over. We lost. Game over, man. Everything, I mean, so funny when he says that. He asked a lot of heart into the film, even though the film is dark, is dark. He has a, he has heart and lightness to this film, and it, this film doesn't even seem like it came from the '80s. It looks like a film that came out like now. I mean, this film does, like I said, doesn't even seem dated. It is it, it, it really holds up. Alien, Aliens is a great film. I do like the original Alien film. I do love the original Alien, but Aliens is this where it's at. Thank you so much for watching, guys. How would you rank these films in the comment section down below, or do you have a different list of mine? Or if you, if you have a different list of mine, that's cool. I guess you have your opinion, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new to my channel, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.